everybody and welcome once again to all the mods for this episode we're going to do a few things actually we're going to look at attain drops and see if we can get some interesting things out of there we're going to have a look at um just doing a little bit of automation well maybe not automation at least i want to do something with the farm and the first thing we're going to do is have a look at the what's it called the altar of the sea so let's get started so here's the altar of the sea and the recipe is basically this so we need a enchanting table and the heart of the sea we got the heart of the sea from a, a treasure buried treasure so that's pretty good we actually <laughs> helped a lot actually and i've already made an enchanting an extra enchanting table for this recipe the next thing we have to do is actually make some um stones so look what they're actually called mossy stone bricks now they're pretty easy to make but i need more than three pieces of vines um, vines, by the way, I got from here, down here. This is a swamp land, mm, quite a big one. <laughs> it's not very far away, so I just went and picked up some some vines from that. So, and then I planted on the wall, the wall over there. In fact, I should have some more in here. I need six. Yes, I do. Right, six like that. And then we need some stone bricks, which we've got here. We need six of those as well. So we just, and then all you have to do then is combine the two together, like that. And then we should be able to make the, this altar of the sea like that. It's dead easy once we've done that. So let's go down and see what this thing does. It, well, it's not obvious what it does, but what it it does is it takes mediocre enchants and makes a better one. So it'll take four mediocre like this is fire protection one, not particularly useful. Unbreaking two, not a great protection two. That's all right, I suppose. Protection three, soul bound, soul bound. Uh, I think it's probably the lot of these. I'll get rid of this one like that. So what you then do is you put this down and you'll see here I've been messing around with some I've actually made some more of these hell shelves. So we just put it down like this. And then we take those items and we just put them on this here like this. And when it's taken got all four items on here. You need four items, it doesn't work without it. Um it will use your XP and make another book. It'll make a book of an enchanted book of some description. Hopefully this book you get is going to be better than the one you just put over it. So what have we got here? Faster attack 2. Actually that's pretty good. So I could then put this one on here. And that would then speed up this this sword or whatever sword I'm actually going to do it on. And I probably would like to probably do that on Cap the Captain's Dream Sword. Which is this one if it doesn't cost too much. Let's go and have a look. So that's what that does. So let's have a look. Oh, Jensen cost two. Brilliant. I'll take that. No, thank you very much. So then we get, um, and let's, does it tell you what we've got the speed? Yes, it says 1.6 is still the speed, but I reckon that we do. It goes faster than that now. So the next thing I would like to look at, as I have been doing some work with the farms, and one of the reasons I've been doing work with the farms is I wanted to look at some, doing some attained drops. like this yes it's like this first thing you have to do is make one of these fertility spreaders so we need okay first thing we need to do is make a, ver <coughs> a fertilized vitalized um, seed and you make two of those you need an apple some seeds and life essence life essence is coming in reasonably abundant we've got plenty of it um i'm going to make a couple of these as it happens apples on the other hand are slightly more tricky because <laughs> i haven't got any <laughs> but i have made so let's have a look at apples now let's go back and have a look at the seed here because that's the one so apples you can make from na nature essence uh, and you can also make it from an apple crate well and you can also do it from dungeon test chests and mana infusion where you take sweet bread actually I haven't found any sweet breads yet but there we are so we're going to do it this way so nature essence, nature essence is nature seed, which is then using prudentium essence, which is a tier two thing, and nature's agglomeration, which is, we've got plenty of all of these. So I've made some of this already, and it's actually been in the farms. So let's go and get that stuff. One of the problems I've been having with my farm is it fills up completely in here. Um, I've actually only got two. Oh, okay, I've yeah, probably got some more in here actually because I've emptied out these chests in here. Nope. No, 
Okay, I'll have to get some more. <laughs> so what I did is I just extended this here and put another farm down here. So let's go and get the watering can. Like this and give these a spring sprinkle. And very quickly we'll get our ex another essence. I think that'll be enough. All, all I've done to, to do this was extend what I'd already done here out and I brought it up here so this is the a link to again to the plant gatherer same as before and here we've got this where I've got six seeds in here into this plant plant so so they're getting exported into here and planted that wherever it's free space so if you look down here I didn't do these two front ones and the reason I didn't do these two front ones because the plant gatherer with the tier one up range add-on just didn't pick them up I so I've added a tier two now and that seems to be working just fine. Maybe this will now work. We'll try it. So we should have available now in this chest some more essence. Good. We've got our three essences that we need. Hmm, that was a bit close. Between episodes, I was doing a bit of fishing. You may have noticed those uh, large... Well, actually, there's a, there's a whole load of them in there filled with bits and pieces. But we don't need to look at that again, do we? So this is just a diagonal of these. And then we get eight apples. Great. So now we can make our um, seeds up. And I think we just needed two seeds, didn't we? So let's just do two seeds. Like this, I think. It's just shapeless crafting. So let's put all three in a row. Yes. So we'll get four seeds out of here. Now, I've actually already made this. As this fatality spread and I've already made a load of seeds you might have just caught a glimpse of it but then you need these you can make these blocks so what I would like to do we've got enriched with a diamond that's interesting what have we got here nether quartz so this is another way blaze rod so what's this recipe for this one here let's have a look recipe blaze rod it should tell me I'm not sure it's a a blaze bulb yeah so we take a blaze rod and we put it in onto a vitalized soil with an attained drop attained farming it's called so let's just take a blaze rod i've got a few around 21. um you can do this with all sorts of things we can do with the skeleton skulls as well um maybe we could even do emeralds let's just take one of the emeralds out out of here like that and i'll show you what we have to do it's actually neat <laughs> And it does save a lot of work. It's a bit manual. I don't know if you can automate this. I will be honest with you. But here we have this. And what you do is you plant this vitalized vitality spreader in the middle here. And then it will make a 5x5 five five area. And then you can put down your seeds. So you see I've got plenty of these. They're all full grown as you will see. So let's put down these seeds like this. not completely full I think there's one more space just here that we could actually have it and then what you do is you can make these grow fast of course by holding down this like on here and you'll see that these seeds will grow up fairly quickly um, even if they don't appear to be that one's saying zero growth but this one over oh, it's just grown now that's saying 28% growth and just hold it down for a bit and you'll get your, your growth so anyway let's show you what we do next so let's take for example a blaze rod you right click the plant like that and it goes golden underneath it let's do the same with the uh, with the skeleton skull like this that goes black and maybe it works for them we'll see yeah it does so let me carry on sprinkling these because that's the quickest way to make them grow now you'll see this one here is already developed and it says use an axe so we've got an axe here and this one also developed we'll use an axe on that one what do we get so we've got a Another way to get to the skull back again, plus and a diamond, of course. I mean, they've got another one here, look, like that. It doesn't go on forever, but it does go on for a few, little bit of time, like this. And you'll get one or two of these out of here. Maybe, if you're lucky, you'll get more than that. So you've got a blaze rod and another emerald. So we started off with one of each, and so far it's carrying on working. So let's just look. See, now this one here's finished. So the emerald's finished. And the, no the number you get is generally more than two or more than two. Now this one won't work again until this is this fertility spread has decided it's going to work again. Oops, I've just broken the plant. I didn't want to do that. Never mind. And eventually, like this one here, it's just done its business again. Let's just 
do that. I must have broken a seed. Presumably I've picked up the seed again. You do, yeah, you can break the seeds quite happily. They'll come up again. And then over a short period of time, let's have a look. Because we started with one each of these. You see that's now gone green. And then the plant dies down. So we ended up with five blaze rods. So we got four extra. We got two extra diamonds and we got three wither skeleton skulls. Fantastic. And these will then, as soon as over a short period of time, this will actually work again and then make these grow again. So five by five. Obviously it's a bit manual, but it works pretty well. So we get all of those difficult to get resources, I would say. Um, and I move this around a little bit here because I'm going to put on top of this now. I'm going to replace this one here by a storage drawers controller. Now storage drawers, they're a bit broken at the moment. I was going to use something else, in fact, which is a bit of a shame. Um, <clears throat> the reason why storage drawers are broken, there's two things which are different. One is if you break the drawer controller, it doesn't drop. I think that's just a bug. So let's just break this stuff and put the stuff into here like this. Okay. I can put the other the other bits and pieces into here. You see, what I've made is I've made a glowstone essence, some stone essence, prismarine essence, uh, nether quartz essence. And, of course, I made the... Let's put that in there as well. So that's picked everything up. So we can easily put top on top of this the draw controller, like like that. And these are the things we're actually going to be getting. So let's put that onto that like that. Now, normally, when you put down a chest beside it that's unlocked, like this one, it would put something into it. In fact, it has done it. This time it's put the um, essence in here. Let's put down another one of these. Um, I think two is what we need into this, like that. So, we have to check. Let's look in the inventory. There's actually, we've got just some seeds in here. So, after a short period of time, we should get some more bits. Oh, actually, we have. <laughs> I was going to say, this didn't work yesterday when I was doing some testing on it. It wasn't putting the items into here. What it was doing is it was simply um, just not putting them in. I was going, I don't understand what's going on there. So, here... Now it's going to start putting stuff in, as you can see. Great. So let's go and make a key and quantity key. Now, what was the problem is if that inventory gets full or the, the sower gets full, it still harvests the seeds. Um, and when it harvests the seeds, then it, of course, it's, the seeds are dropped on the ground and they despawn. So <laughs> I lost a load of seeds doing that. I made some more. Uh, right, what did I want to make? I wanted to make some upgrades, which I think I've already got. Pairs as it happens. I've got some storage upgrades in here and a void upgrade, and I've got some more storage stuff. Don't really need to show you how to do these that easy anyway. So, so when I was fishing, for example, it filled up the chest. I'd only got an ordinary wooden chest in there. And it fills it up fairly quickly. Oh, and I wanted to want to make keys, didn't I? Let's do that. I'm going to make two keys. One, there's only two keys now. Uh, the lock key and the quantity key. So what we need for that is there's two upgrades in here. Like that. I don't think I've made them already. I'll double check it. We need um, gold nuggets. And we need gold ingots. We need four gold ingots, actually. Um, now what do we need for the drawers? This one. So we need two of these. And then we need a book and quill with this one as well. Now book and quills are fairly straightforward. Um, I've actually got most, if you look at the recipe of this, it uses an ink sack. It doesn't use dark black dye. Now ink sacks I've been getting from fishing. This uh, the fe feathers obviously you know where I've got those from. So we've been getting those from fishing and the reasonable amount of them as well. Let me just drop these heads off and I need the, the bits and pieces in here like, like that. I'll also drop off this these emeralds in here like that. So let's do that. Craft one of these with a book. In fact you could put them like this, can't we? It'll make one key. So that's the quantity key and this is the other key here like this. And what I'm gonna do is it's unlikely that the other products, the one seed, the glowstone, I, 
And I don't see there's much point in showing you the recipes for those. They're, they're fairly straightforward. They're all in JEI. Um, so let's just take here and let's just lock everything into place. Have we got everything yet? No, not yet. But what I'll do is to get everything. Let's go back up here and make sure we just sprinkle, do a bit of sprinkling. Like this. Let's let these things grow up. It doesn't obviously take very long at all for this stuff to work. In fact, I think there is one more thing that we'd need to put in that right. They're all gone. I can walk across, walk across here, of course, and it'll do everything else. Oops. So now we should have everything in here. Yes, we have. We've got fertilizer as well, which is great. So we can lock these up. Let's do that. So they won't be. So now they're all locked, and now we can right-click the quantity key on the controller and you'll see how many we've got. I've actually got a lot because I've got them from here as well so we could move this lot down here like this and then we can double click these into here. Let's just use, use, use one of these. And I can repeat this until, until I've got everything down of course. What I could do is what I was suggested for was just to basically shove everything up there and then we can do it a lot faster having a completely empty inventory. And I had another chest here just in case there wasn't stuff space. That's, uh, didn't I ah, see? Okay, it's already filled up. <laughs> That's good. Good demonstration. So let's get this opened up now. Right shift, right click it with an empty hand. And I left out the things back in here that I want to do. I want to avoid upgrade and I want some upgrades for this as well. So let's uh, do that again. This one I'm going to upgrade with an emerald and a void. So let's just do an emerald upgrade and a void upgrade. I think that's probably all I'm ever going to need because it's going to take a lot of stuff before this gets filled up and I'm going to be using it before then anyway. The next one that may well fill up would be, probably be the melons but that's got a reasonable amount of time to go before it reaches melons so we probably use that up before. Melons of course are used for trading let me just bring everything back down again now. I'll just move that into there, that's good. And then I can break these chests away. Get all four of them. So this is going to just work away now. It won't, it won't get a blockage. So the next thing you want to do is actually to automate some more of this. Um, so I think. I think the best way to do this will probably be with the RF tools. There's various ways of doing it. Um, we could use a turtle, but turtles are a bit slow for doing their, their crafting recipes. They don't go particularly fast. But RF tools seems like a good way to do it. So if we have a look for a uh, crafter, or oh, not at crafter, let's look for, I'll tell you what, let's just look for craft, sorry. So craft, things we can use to craft, obviously crafting tables. We can't automate that very easily. There is a project workbench, which I have from Blue Power that I haven't actually, a crafting, crafty crate, Britannia. Okay, I'm not ready to do that. A crafty turtle, you can use a turtle for crafting. In fact, I've actually got one already prepared. But we, the one I would like to do would probably be the, the tier two crafters here, because they hold four recipes. So for that we need, um, crafting plus a tier one and two torches so we need two of each and then this was basically just a machine frame so we need four torches and four crafting um, frames and then that's basically four iron and blue dye okay and two nuggets so let's get that ready four iron two nuggets um, Blue dye, wasn't it? Yes. Just happened to have two blue dye prepared. Brilliant. <laughs> um, that wasn't planned. Uh, what else do we need? Torches. So we need four torches. I've got six there. I used two to make up the um, controller. Four torches and crafting tables. Let's get four crafting tables. So we need to make three. Sixteen. Oops. Sixteen. I need that one. So let's craft these up. 
So those are the bits we need for this, so we'll just do the tier 1. So we need the machine frame first of all. Put it in, don't put it in the back in there because it doesn't find it. Crafting tier 1. And we should be able to do the tier 2. Tier 3 is the same as it happens. The next thing I would like to do, if I'm going to do a lot of automatic crafting, I'm going to do, I'm going to make the supremium version of this. So I've, I've got here enough Imperium Essence to make another two of these. So let's take my crystal, which is broken. So we're going to have to make uh, an infused crystal. I think we're going to have to make two of those. Now, what was that? It was a diamond, wasn't it? Plus some bits and pieces. I forgot what it is. This one. We want to make this one and this one. So that's bit okay, that's the Supremium Gemstone plus four and that one. And this is okay, just inferior essence. So we need eight of these. And we need some inferior, we just need four of those. Like that. So that'll make the we'll make the first gemstone up like this. Now that's that one. So the, from this one we can then make the we need two of these. I'm only going to make two Supremium ones. Because they are really expensive. <laughs> In terms of Inferium, that is. So now we've got that. So now we can make the diamond. Oh, we need, yes, we need the diamond prismarine. What's it called? Prismarine Prosperity Gemstone. So we put that in the corner there. With these two should make, oh, yes, a Supremium one. And then I need four more. I forgot about that actually. I need four more of these prosperity shards, and then we should be able to make this one up like that the master infusion crystal. And this is great, doesn't break, doesn't have any uses, unlimited uses. Perfect for actual crafting. Now, the next thing we're going to do is give it some power. Uh, here's the recipe. Actually, I should could make this one anyway. Let's just do this because this is for um, the lava generator I was planning to do this at some stage anyway so let's just put those in the middle I wonder if I can remember the pattern so I think it was these four on the outsides that probably goes in the middle like that and I think these go there and the last one was a circuit board up here yeah the lava generator but while I'm having put these two keys away I don't want these two keys in here at the moment I've also, as you may well have noticed, been upgrading my bits and pieces in here, these chests and things like that. The diamond one's really cheap <laughs> compared to everything else. So now, where are we? I want to make, and the next thing I want to make here is a, a solar panel, tier one actually. So that's just bits of glass and iron, isn't it? So we need, I think, is it six pieces of glass? I'm not exactly sure, it's been a while since I made it. Uh, a couple of pieces of iron. So let's have a look at that one. The solar panel tier one is actually enough, sufficient, gives us sufficient power to run the RF tools crafter. So basically, we just know three. We don't need very many of these in that case. I think that's the truth. That's so we need some planks and a redstone. One redstone and some planks. Five wasn't it? At least when I was testing it, it worked. So I and I actually tested it making um, just the tier one one. It might be advantageous to do that. I I'm not hundred percent sure. So the next problem is we need to export stuff out of here. Hmm. I wonder how I do that. Maybe the easiest way would be to put um, a cable on here. For the time being, we won't. We'll just set up the recipes like this. Let's put down the crafter tier two. And let's put on top of the crafter tier two the solar panel. Now, 
oddly enough it's actually slightly difficult to get this to work so we need let's just take a stack of this in here like that so now the pattern that we want to make so we'll take a recipe here double click it to enter the recipe so we'll put this one in the middle of this because this is going to stay in this machine like this and then we're going to put four of these around here like that and that'll make some prudentium essence like this and then we can apply it now we can then shift click this into here like that and you'll see what it's doing is it's moving the master crystal out again huh. bit of a nuisance as it's happened you'll see that the power is going up here like that so what i want it to do is i don't want it to go out i think if you see every time you click it in into here it takes that recipe so you can forget the member we haven't recorded anything yet so let's just um instead of doing this let's make the, instead of things going into the output buffer let's make them go into the in internal buffer here like that so then when i put this up in here it's going to still do that again oh it didn't apply let's try that again where did it go to oh so this time it stays here and so does the pretentium essence um whether that's good or not i'm not 100 percent sure but it works that way so the next thing to do is we make use this to make the next layer so the next one is we'll go to here double click this in fact what i probably should do is to do this one at the end of this one so let's first of all clear it all off um just right click it out like this because this stuff normally works in the reverse order i think that's the right way it works uh, maybe not actually let's have a look let's leave it like that. let's just try this one so the next recipe will be to use one of these like that and then two years we'll actually put everything together like this and make these things go around here like that and apply that so this time we're getting <laughs> uh, I never pronounce this word right I think it's just tertium essence and again it's going out so let's put it this time um, internally what i would have liked to have been able to do is to remember that this one goes into this slot as soon as i put it in of course it's going to craft it up so let's just put this in like that and then remember where it goes to and then if i put this into here like that it's going to craft it all up again but it still puts it out so whatever you do it doesn't work you have to put it internal there isn't anything does that say Ah, okay, this is what I want then. Let's apply that. <laughs> and bing, brilliant, I've got it as I want it to work now. So that's so that we need this result of the crafting operation will go to the output buffer, but the remaining items will, like buckets will stay in the input. Okay, what else do we have in there? Just that. So there's three. So let's apply that. Let's edit this one here apply good so now i can take some pretentium some of this like this let's put four stacks of this into here now i've run out of power but the power is actually adequate over time it will build up because you're not going to be crafting all the time and even if i link it in directly to here it's not going to craft up all of the time even with a tier even with a tier one and it'll just carry on crafting away so the next one after that of course would be to take this tertium essence and we'll make the next one up so let's do that one that needs to go into the middle make sure that it goes to the internal with that one good and then this one goes around here like that which will make then apply that imperium essence so we have to wait until we get some more stuff coming out of here like that we can actually remember the location of these as well and that then remembers these as 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 well what's that slow speed mode mode is slow okay it's working fine and then redstone's ignored because you can remember that as well so that's the automation of this and i'm not using any durability so if i want to craft some stuff up here it's not really a big deal we'll just craft it up so that's that So what I was talking about <clears throat> before as well, I think I've remembered everything. Actually, whenever whenever I come around here, I just bash these. And I've actually 
I've got on here now magnet three on the chest plate. I actually like magnet. It's one of the things I really dislike dropping stuff and having to run around picking it up. But I've actually found I found some more chests and whatever, and I've actually also changed the railway. So they're every twenty eight blocks now. So they're not. You can't see it down well, but the but the um the powered rails are every twenty eight and it runs better. So the, what I wanted to look at. In this episode, which I, I will do, we'll just do a little bit of it. It's the sorting chests. So this was um, sorting chest. It's basically this one here. So it's refined relocation. Hmm, name of the model. Let's look at refined relocation because there's not actually that much in it. Location. There's only what ten items or something like that. And it's got these different bits and pieces on it. Um, so we've basically got a sorting upgrade, which is, takes a chest and upgrades a chest. So we can do it like this. So we need hoppers. You obviously can only use quite a fair few hoppers. And I think I prepared eight. I've got some chests already prepared, which we'll put down here like that. And there's some redstone. Um, is that all that we need for this? I guess for this time being, it will be all that we need. So let's make a sorting chest. I actually would like to make two of those. So we need two books. Yes, I forgot about the books. We need to get a few of these out of here. Let's fill up my inventory, which will be fine. Let's just push everything into here when I don't need. That'll do. Right, books. We need to make two of these. The recipe for this one is exactly the same. Instead of having a chest in the middle, you've just got planks. So, so you're just saving. You're just saving this. Now, this would have worked on iron chests, but it doesn't work in the 114 version. So don't bother making it. <laughs> so right, the next one is a block extender and a sorting interface. Now, a sorting interface is made with glass planes, iron. Uh, and a sorting connector. So we've got to make some sorting connectors. Then we've got to make these two different filters. So that's just some planks, book, and redstone. Let's get those bits and pieces. I think I might have even got some of this stuff in here. I've got the two books. I probably need three books. Planks. I've got this chest, I don't want the chest with me, I'll just move the chest into here. Well, it's not a chest, is it? Um, glass planes and iron is what I want, that's what I was looking for. Let's get, and I've also got some reeds, I don't have sugar cane, I'll put those away in here. I don't go, put the sugar cane and the apples into there, so that's out of the way. Of course they don't go, yes. Because um, they're in the hot bar. So now, Let's make some of these up. So we need some iron and some gold nuggets. I've got two gold nuggets in a 24 iron. I think that's possibly what I've got those in there for, to be honest with you. So we can make 12 of these. Um, so the sorting in sorting connector, sorting interface. We, we've almost got all what we need now. We just need to make this one. So we need a, another plank and a gold nugget planks would be sensible if I took a whole load of planks wouldn't it so we need the input filter here and we need an output filter I'm missing redstone of course now normally you'd put these items into the block extender uh, it doesn't work I tried it it comes up with a configure button you press the configure button and nothing happens um, but the sorting interface does work or at least partially <laughs> some of these mods are a bit more broken than I would actually like to be them to be but well this one has got some nice features so for instance let's just take some coal and some ores here maybe some maybe some ingots of some description let's take some gold ingots let's put the um, 
these away, we don't need that. And I think that'll do for my inventory management. Possibly we'll put the glass in here as well. It's night time. I might get attacked by phantoms. Because it's been a while since I've been... When I was fishing, I was out at night. I don't know. They won't be able to see me anyway. So this stuff, how this works... Is you, ba you basically can put down two chests. They have to be sorting chests like that and you can connect them up whatever you want to do so let's put this one down here like that and then you can connect these things in together and you see it sort of links in it doesn't connect properly because these chests are slightly smaller than the block and this doesn't go beyond the block so now what you can do here is you can take something for example here and there's a button which you can't see just here and it's a sorting chest filter so for example then you can do a preset filter so for example we can have all ingots and it's showing the highlighted in here what's going to be selected okay and then you can put into here let's put in the ores and the ingots and what else did i pick out especially for this stuff let's put in the wood and the gold nugget and you see that as soon as i put it in it disappeared and it comes into this chest here now if i then change this to do all ores as well you'd expect everything to come in here but it doesn't what you have to do is you have to put only works if you when you actually put the items into the chest so if they're already in it doesn't work so now we've got our ores in there as well so if i focus on for example take this the wood out and put it back in again it's going to stay there because it's not in the filter so far so good now the sorting interface allows you to basically connect different chests and different types of chests into it here for instance I can put down this and then in front of this I can put or put onto it this sorting interface like that and you'll see this is connected in I actually shift held it of course but shift clicked it because I wanted this to work so now in here you can specify another filter again you can use the preset filters and you can also specify mod unfortunately this doesn't work so let's for example say Minecraft and it should highlight everything in here that's Minecraft. And we've got Minecraft stuff, like hoppers from Minecraft. And then that should go into this chest. So let's just... Planks, they're also Minecraft. But they're not moving out of here, as you can see. Everything just stays in here. And it should move out. If I change this now and say, for example, let's clear it off and do presets, so let's do all blocks you'll see that these things here have been classed as blocks so now when I put in this these items are disappearing and they will be coming into this chest in here like that so if for example here I've got to also put all ores in here as well because you can do all ores and let's take this out of here or these two out of here and put them back in again they have two destinations and what it's going to do is it should select the, the nearest one and the nearest one will be the this because it's one two and it's maybe three blocks away the other one's four i haven't tested this but let's just see what happens do we see them in there oh, they have gone in there and they haven't gone in there so let's just move this out back a bit now um just a block and it's definitely going to be further away i wasn't 100 percent sure that it's close enough or whatever oops Right, do it like this. Now, I'm not sure whether the filters are remain, to be honest, but let's just have a look at those. No, we lost it. So we had presets. What did we have? We had all ores and ingots, I think is what we had in there. So now we've put, pushed these stuff into here. They should go out and end up in this chest, because it's nearest. And they do, good. And they didn't come into here. Um, the problem at the moment with this is that a lot of the filters don't work. So, for example, you've got a name filter. You can have in here name filters. Um, I'm not exactly sure what we should, for example, do in this. Let's say gold ingots. So we type in gold. And I think maybe a star will do if it's got... Uh, so it actually says star. So let's just see if that works. Press escape out of here. Let's put these gold ingots into here. Oh, they did actually go out. Now, has this got... <laughs> this should go into here. 
Well, they did good. Now, for example, I was trying to do um, mystical agriculture essence. So let's go and get some of that. I mean, so this is probably going to it's probably going to work, isn't it? So, so let's take this one out here. Let's just get rid of this. So this one is called Inferium Essence. I was hoping you could do things like um, Inferium. So let's. So that's nothing. That's everything. You see, stars, everything. Let's have a look for Essence. Nope. E N C E, I think. Oh yes, it's actually working. Inferium essence. So you can do star essence and you can do um let's just try that. Sure enough it works. Hmm. Okay. Things are working better than I expected. They didn't work last day. <laughs> I don't ask me. Maybe sometimes your game starts up and things just don't work. I was having such a load of trouble with it. I was going, ah. Oh. Anyway, that works. Now, the block extender is supposed to behave similarly. You're supposed to be able to put stuff in to different items. But when I was clicking the configure button, it didn't configure the items. Let's show you. I've got a little bit of time. Maybe. Well, let's have a quick look at that. Well, the mobs in there, mob farm. The mob farm, of course, should be more efficient now. I'm just wondering if the mobs are there. Just a second, I'll come back in a second. Well, it was just full of stuff. Block extender, let's make one of these. This is a fast hopper. Fast hopper is just an ordinary hopper with two pieces of redstone around it. it will work like, just I guess it works like a hopper with them, just a bit faster. So that's it. So that's the block X. And I've also made another input filter so we can demonstrate it. Um, I also want, I want to come back over here and have a look at this because one thing I thought about when I was doing this is we've got this filter in here, haven't I? Set it up to being gold star. So now you'll see that it actually highlights gold ore, gold nuggets, and gold, which of course is exactly what you'd expect it to do. So that's working fairly well. So we could basically shove everything we've got in here into that. It just takes out what it's got in the rules and leaves the rest of it in there. Pretty good, huh? So look what it actually took out of here. So we've got those three bits of gold in there. And this took in the two ores, as you expect it to. In fact, it took the put the gold in here first, even though it's an ore, because it was took higher priority, because it was nearer. And I think you can actually set the priority too, as so you can set it low, left click it and right click it. So right click it makes it low, left click it makes it higher. So that would also do as well. So you could set that to normal, and then you could set this one here to being higher. Um, let's click the button. I like that. And then we could take the gold out and see where the gold ore goes into. We know the other two go into that one, of course, because it will do. So that may be, no, nope, it's still got it in here. So it doesn't. So next thing, block extender. The block extender, let's just put it down here, it has this interface. And then you put into it these filters in here like that. And then it comes up with this configure. You click it, nothing happens. So at the moment, that's not worth doing, <laughs> as far as I can see, unless I've got it wrong. But I'd expect it to be able to configure an a filter of some description here. And here are the letters, so basically it's got different colour faces here. Um, it's got five faces. I don't think you can do this face here. I think that's probably where it goes on to. So, for example, if we had a chest or whatever. Um, maybe not a chest, maybe a furnace or something. It would actually put it under there. So look, can we do it on a sorting thing so we actually... From what I oh, see, I see that will then connect to there. So then the different faces in here would then connect across. So you can say the purple face should go into that, I think is how it works. So you can say that the, the purple face would go onto the east face or the, the bottom downwards, upwards. I'm not exactly sure. Since it doesn't, you can't configure it, there doesn't seem to be much point in playing with that too much. Um, this, however, would be a very useful tool for sorting out the mob drops. Because, of course, in these ones, so you've got these preset filters. Um, it's got the preset filters. So you've got things like gems, food, dyes, 
unstackable so anything that's unstackable anything that's repairable all weapons all tools can all get and all enchanted items can get sorted out into a different place which i think is actually quite difficult to do it and with other mods you know in, enchanted items is, is not the easiest of thing to filter out so it does have its uses well today i've covered quite a few uh, odds and ends and other bits and pieces which are all useful next time i'm not quite sure what we're going to be doing that next time anyway until then i wish you all the best bye for now